Hi, my name is Mike Camara. I work for Virginia Sports Medicine Institute, and I'm a PT assistant. So today we're going to talk about sit to stand and some of the common problems that we see with that. Um, one of the biggest issues that we see when people are trying to get in and out of a chair is the use of a hip hinge. So they end up kind of driving their knees over the toes and they end up hurting their knees or they hurt their back because they're not putting the forces in the right places. So what we see when we're younger is, is a very easy use of the hip hinge, uh, particularly when we're like three and four. But as we get older and older, we start to compensate away from that. So I'm gonna demonstrate that for you and kind of show you what we wanna see. Um, it's harder, it takes more work, it takes more energy, but it's more correct mechanically, so the chances are you're less likely to have pain when you do it. So as we sit down, we're gonna really focus on going from, from sit to stand. I think that's the easiest way to demonstrate it. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that our knees don't pass the toes. They can be in line with the toes, but they can't pass it. As we rock forward, we're gonna really use the hips. So we're not gonna use our back. We're not gonna flex our back. We're just gonna stay still. So as we move forward, we're just gonna roll off of our, our butt bones and we're gonna just push straight up. But what allows us to do that is we're getting our center of gravity over our feet. And so when we sit down, it's the same thing, but it's backwards. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bend the hips back as we keep our body straight, lower ourselves down, keeping our center of gravity over our feet and place ourselves into the chair. So the movement in, at full speed ends up looking like this as we go through the motion. In the long run, that can be a great exercise to do in repetition. It eventually can convert to things like um, getting in and out of your car, on and off a toilet, which is perhaps one of the deepest squats you'll do. Um, that's it. Thank you.